Unlike a year ago or even last fall, there's no confusion about who at the moment is Wisconsin's starting quarterback. Hornibrook, play fake. Alex Hornibrook will head into his sophomore year with two freshmen behind him on the depth chart and a confidence that comes with nine starts and live reps during 12 games, including a blemish-free Cotton Bowl. He can put a football where he wants it, including into a garbage can placed near the back pylon of an end zone. Which got me thinking, can I do that? What's the hardest throw to make in football, maybe aside from this one? Um, I would say if you're talking about a actual route, just like a yeah. contested one-on-one, -on -one, maybe in the red zone where things are happening quicker. Um, you know, you got to put a, put a little more zip on in the red zone, so I'd probably say a one-on-one -on -one contested ball in the red zone. Who'd you grow up watching? I used to always watch Peyton Manning when right. I was um, growing up, just because he was a guy that, you know, he never wowed anybody with his physical talent, but just the mental part of the game was unbelievable. What do you know now heading into what Paul Chris is going to ask from you that you didn't know maybe back at fall camp? What are you going to take from last year? I think something that'll help me is just having a complete understanding of every play and what everybody's doing on the field. Because when you're first getting acclimated to an offense, you're kind of worried about yourself and aware of everybody else, but kind of having more of a control on the entire offense. How do you think that's going to help you grow? I think it helps now? a lot. It'll help me to help out other guys on the offense, and at the same time, it just helps me play faster and process everything that's going on. You're going to go into to spring practice and eventually fall camp different than last year. Mm -hmm. You know, that I think the expectations are going to be different. You personally in a different position, more experienced with this group. What do you, get to, what do you think that's going to be like I mean, compared to last year? You're yeah. basically mentally where you're going to be heading into 2017. I think a big thing would be that I already kind of know how it goes. I've already had a season under my belt, so sometimes my attention might have been directed at something else last year where I don't really need to worry about that now because I already know what it's like. Um, and I can focus on just getting better and mastering this offense. Spring ball can be the most beneficial how? I think just because there's no pressure as far as games that you're playing at the end of the week, but you can just focus on your own development and getting better as a team. Okay, okay. You got a lot of new pieces around you. Yeah. What's that gonna be like? It's gonna be fun. You get to see some people step up and uh, see some younger guys make some plays. I'm excited for it. So trying to get a football into that bucket, is this like the football equivalent of a half court shot in basketball? Or is this kind of, is this routine? Can this be routine? I would say it's a little bit like a half court shot. You don't do much. It's kind of in a setting like this or like when you're joking around, but um, yeah, we don't do it much. It just kind of happens. Oh, oh, that was rigged. That was good. It fell over. That's we got to put it back. Ah, uh, what's the key here? I don't know. You just toss it. Maybe it goes in. That looks pretty good. No, no that's camera. Not it. Camera. Almost got the camera. Nope, that's not good. Let's try a couple more here. Oh! That's it. That's going to do it. <laughs> got to. It falls over and rolls out. Thanks for your time. Yep, thank you. Good luck during spring camp. All we'll right. see you around. I can definitely not do that. Spring ball underway. These guys off on the field getting ready for 2017.